He's a star athlete, a model, and is part of a celebrity power couple. But did you also know he's good for a laugh? Welcome to Watch Mojo UK, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 times David Beckham was actually hilarious. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we'll be looking at the funniest David Beckham moments on record. Do you like David, you like Beckham? David Beckham? I think he's good. He's he almost looks like you. Ah, uh, he's very. I wish I looked like him. Number 10 Embarrassing Haircuts The Graham Norton Show. I'm not ashamed it. of any of them. Well, you should be ashamed of some of them. <laughs> you know, someone has a good sense of humor when they can not only poke fun at others, but they can also have a good laugh at their own expense. In this clip from the Graham Norton show, Beckham showed just how self-deprecating he could be when he laughed at some of the bad haircuts he has had over the years. Because that doesn't seem like you at all. Big smiley face there. No, well, I, I don't know why I had that one. Considering he was a star in the early aughts, it makes sense that he had a few style mishaps. But ouch, some of these are very rough. That was maybe a bad decision. You'd be hard pressed not to burst out laughing when you see the photos of Beckham and Nelson Mandela. So that's why, that's why I regret that. Number nine, the next James Bond. The Late Late Show with James Corden. Okay, we're ready for you, Beckham. When James Corden and David Beckham meet at an audition to be the next James Bond, hilarity will inevitably ensue. Corden makes jabs about Beckham's career as an underwear model, and tension rises as the two stars have to compete against one another for the role of a lifetime. No, I can't do this. I look ridiculous. I think you look good. I look like Austin Powers. Seeing Beckham attempt to sabotage Corden is incredible, and things quickly escalate as they both pull out all the stops in order to get the role. I want to sleep with him. Oh, come on! That's not fair! They get more and more petty as the audition goes on, even devolving into a slap fight at one point. Well, at least I don't look like Shrek. <gasps> right. You wanna go? You wanna... Don't you dare. Try again. Number 8, Ali G Interview. Comic Relief. Beckham, what about you? Alright. Listen, just because this is comic relief doesn't mean you should speak in a silly voice, right? <laughs> don't say it to me. Sasha Baron Cohen's alter ego character, Ali G, may not exactly be politically correct today, but he was extremely popular back in the early 2000s. So, of course, in a charity special benefiting comic relief, Posh and Bex were the perfect candidates for his particular brand of humour, most of which involved absolutely roasting them. In an ideal world, and no disrespect to your bitch, wouldn't <laughs> The two were good sports throughout, even as Ali G asked them extremely personal questions, clearly trying to get them to crack. So how many of the Spice Girls turned you down before you went for <laughs> It's not easy to be made fun of so unrelentingly, but Beckham laughs along with the host the whole way through. Beckham, we have all seen pictures of you wearing clothes that is well embarrassing and make you look like a <laughs> laughing stock. <laughs> Why do you wear that England football shirt? <coughs> Number seven, chaperoning Brooklyn's date. The Late Late Show with James Corden. Brooklyn's in the audience tonight. He's there the he audience. is. He's over there. Oh, there he is. <laughs> Lovely boy. Despite the wealth and fame, the Beckhams clearly work hard to keep their kids humble. And in this interview, David talked about how his son Brooklyn has a job working in a coffee shop. In another parenting technique that might seem a bit unconventional, Beckham also shadowed Brooklyn when he wanted to take a girl on a dinner date. She said, OK, make sure you take him and then make sure you sit in the restaurant. So I was like, <laughs> so I was like really? You're going to make me do that? He said that Victoria insisted that it was the only way the date would be allowed to happen and sat a little ways away from the teens keeping a watchful eye the whole time. My daughter is four years old. Yeah. When she gets to that age, I will be closer than that. Number six, Statue Prank. The Late Late Show with James Corden. Statue is finished, and here it is right here in all its glory. <laughs> David Beckham was going to be honoured with a statue to recognise his achievements. But before the final design could be unveiled to him, James Corden decided to step in and have a little fun. In an epic prank that took months to achieve, Corden's team redesigned the statue to be, well, a little less flattering. I mean, 
Look at my chin. <laughs> when he had seen early designs, Beckham had commented that his chin and bottom were a bit too large, so Corden emphasised these features in particular for an end result that is comically bad. You've probably done me a favour then. Oh my god, what's happened? Hey, what the Number 5. Hidden Camera Masseuse The Ellen DeGeneres Show Right now, I don't want to be David Beckham. Okay. I want to just relax. Can you call sure, me Ricky? Sure. Can you call me Ricky? <laughs> Ellen's hidden camera pranks are epic, and David Beckham does an excellent job when his turn arrives to participate. He is supposed to be going for a massage, but offers up increasingly bizarre behaviour when it comes to interacting with the poor unsuspecting masseuse. Let's just join energy and do some cleansing breaths. Let's just join energy and do some cleansing breaths. <laughs> First, he asks that they not call him by his real name, then asks if they can do some cleansing breaths together. Just gentle, really gentle. Did I feel a thumb? Okay. Did I feel a thumb? When the time for the actual massage comes, it gets even weirder, as Ellen makes Beckham request some unconventional techniques. Anyone willing to embarrass themselves like this has clearly got a great sense of humour. Happy birthday! Ricky! 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 Number 4. Being Trolled by Victoria. The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon. You love uh, Legos. I do love Lego. <laughs> In an interview on The Tonight Show starring Jimmy Fallon, Beckham talked about his relationship with his wife, even sharing stories from early in their relationship. But not every relationship is perfect, and there's one thing that comes between Posh and Bex, Lego. David is a big Lego fan, and his wife loves to make fun of him for his hobby, reminding him in one video clip of what the age on the box is. She was like, really? You're still up at 2 o'clock in the morning doing 11 years and above Lego. <laughs> she reminds him that he's 44 years old though, and perhaps shouldn't be playing with toys. It does say on the box that it's for an 11 year old. <laughs> Done. I've completed this in, in nine hours. But you are 44, you know that. <laughs> yep, you're 45. David doesn't miss a beat and gets the last laugh by pointing out that he'll always be younger than Victoria. I think it says on the box, it's 16 years old plus. So it's amazing. That's a little step up. Congratulations from us. Number three, James Corden underwear ad. The Late Late Show with James Corden. David Beckham may have become famous because of his prowess on the football pitch, but he eventually became known for his modelling career as well. In particular, his underwear campaigns were particularly memorable, which is probably why James Corden decided to make a parody of them. You spend your life being watched, getting pushed, being judged. In this ad for D&J Briefs, Beckham and Corden appear in matching ensembles, though to slightly different effect. They mock the serious tone that underwear adverts sometimes take on, putting on dramatic faces and uttering ridiculous phrases into the camera. The end result is absolutely hilarious. D&J Briefs. It's underwear for a man with a great body. And David Beckham. Number 2. David Goes Undercover at Target, The Ellen DeGeneres Show after the success of his first time going undercover on Ellen, she decided to have him back to try it again with a different scenario. Actually, let me spray it on my leg, it smells so much better. <laughs> this time, he was planted in a Target store, donning the signature red shirt and all, and offering up fragrance samples. Howdy! Howdy, partner! Howdy, partner! Howdy, partner! Ellen makes him spray the scent on his legs so the customers can sniff it, as well as talk in a Texan accent and sing to the customers. Come and buy cologne if you stink. Come, Come and buy cologne if you stink. When one shopper seems to identify that he's actually David Beckham, he strongly denies it and tells her to stop spreading rumours. Oh, and did we mention he encourages shoplifting? Just put it in your pocket, there's nobody looking. Just put it in your pocket. Give it to him. Yeah. yeah, give it to him. Hurry up. No, it's, it's, it's a small box. Quick, put it, put quick, it, quick. quick. Number one, Deadpool 2 ad with apologies to David Beckham. You ever heard David Beckham speak? It's like he mouth sexed a can of helium. In the first Deadpool movie, the titular character mocks David Beckham's voice for how high-pitched it is. I am so sorry. So, so, so. 
In this ad for the sequel, Deadpool 2, we see Ryan Reynolds in full Deadpool costume coming to Beckham's house in an attempt to apologize and gain his forgiveness in increasingly elaborate ways. Beckham manages to get some jabs in at Reynolds' prior film roles, suggesting he should actually be apologizing for those. What did you think I was apologizing for? I mean, there's a list. Green Lantern, yep. R.I.P.D., Horrible. Selfless, Terrible. Blade Trinity, Oof. Bolt Neck. In the end, though, the two seem to put things in the past as they settle in on the couch together. Do you agree with our picks? Check out this other recent clip from Watch Mojo UK and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.